To celebrate State Farm's surprisingly great rates, we gave this song surprisingly great lyrics. Hey neighbors, when your claims get hard to file, State Farm's got to switch it up style. Great rates save you cash, so if you come join us, you'll get your coins up. Oh, now you know you can say that dough. And you're covered on your ride and your home. For great service on the low, then call up State Farm. It's time to switch it up. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. There was stories of these girls that would leave his house and they would have to swim out in the lake and get away from them. He has a secret, like the secret room in his house. He put me in there, she said. I, I, I don't want anybody to die anymore. I don't want anybody else to die from looking for Ashley. Season three of Up and Vanished is available right now. Listen for free on Odyssey, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Lost all the shuffles that the New York Mets did fire Luis Rojas today, or did by they'll define it as not picking up his options. They didn't deal. renew his deal, yeah. but I mean, he's they out. fired him. He is out. Yes. He's out. Uh, everyone knew that was coming, but it happened, it came, it went, and now he's gone. Uh, peace out, SNY. They'll be talking more about that for the next And now days. it begins the most intriguing uh, part of the Met mm. offseason, which is hiring a guy to run the show. That's yeah. what it's all about. So who's going to make? Sounds the big like decisions? it's going to be Billy Bean to me, but you, it sounds like Billy yeah. Bean was just quoted in a, by a local reporter saying, "Don't believe everything you read in the media." Yeah, I think it's going to be Billy Bean. Okay, I that's hope it my, is. That's my gut. It seems like it's going to be Billy Bean. What makes you think it's Billy Bean? Well, because it seems like it's going to be Billy Why? Bean. Why? Well, first what I'm of all, say. it doesn't deserve. When that happens, honor. I'm going to go. Ugh. Why? <laughs> Has been a successful team because I want new blood, Evan. Do I you want, want new young, new young, new unknown. young. You want an unknown. Well, it'd be an unknown to me, probably, yeah. Zach Scott. Well, Zach Scott was uh, Theo's Jared guy. Jared Porter. Theo's guy. Yeah, those were new young well, blood. Well, who knew that they were going to be drive drunk and, uh, you know, I understand that, the gal. but that's a part of why a, a sure thing or a more conservative thing is up my alley right now as a Met fan. I like, guess. I get it. You could get Heim Bloom, who's done a great job for the Red Sox, who was an option before they hired Brony Van Wagenen. I get it. And you could get your own Heim Bloom. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. But right now, at this point in time, I would want someone I'm more sure of. Yeah, That's well, awesome. Art House said he always loved New York. Art Howe? Yeah, so you bring back the manager. Doing, I guess. Stop it. Exactly. What are we doing? We're focusing on the Jet win, the Giant win, and oh, the Yankee win. Because but- tomorrow, those wins are old hat. Tomorrow, the focus of the show is... What do the Yankees need to do to beat the, the Red Sox? There's something we're going to keep an eye on because it's significant. One of the Red Sox best hitters, J.D. Martinez, He's got hurt. hurt yesterday. That's right. I was watching the game. Do you know how he got hurt? And I'm not sure. laughing. I'm not, I'm not laughing because it stinks and it was unfortunate. Maybe he tried to knock the donut off the bat and hit him in the big toe. No, but that's a good guess. Damn. Are you ready for this? Stretching. Now, J.D. Martinez rarely plays the outfield because he's the Red Sox designated hitter. Yeah. But because they were playing in Washington, he needed to play the outfield. So, J.D. Martinez, I, it was like the third or fourth inning, is running onto the field. He's going to go play right field. Let's go. Wasn't looking where he went and tripped over second base. <laughs> you, did, you guys didn't know this? No. How is this not being reported? Not in the for? news. So then. Probably have to pay to read it. <laughs> I only know because I watched the game. So he stays in the game. They're okay. like, all right, he's okay. Like he trips over face first down? No, 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 no. It was like, let me do it. A- just tell us. That's all right. You have to- like he trips. But he didn't like, fall down. No, 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 no. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to give you a proper demonstration. He didn't tumble. No, no, there was no tumble. Not that I saw because they showed it on a replay. Like Nesson yeah. or whatever the Red Sox yeah, right. is. So he stays in the game. There's a double into the corner, and he's, like, lumbering over to get Ugh, it. Yeah. So, finally, Cora gets him out of the game and goes and pinch hits for him. The guy who pinch hit for him actually got a hit in one of their rallies, so it turned out to, to work. But now he's questionable for the game well, tomorrow night. Good. And it's all because he tripped on the second base Look, back. the Yankees lost DJ LeMayu with the, uh, the hernia, which uh, I can speak to him because I've had it. Uh, he's not playing again, in my opinion. If he has a legitimate hernia... You know, you've got one on each side of kind of where your groin is, and they have to put a patch in there to repair. There's a hole. He's a tear, or it's a hole in that area on both sides of the family jewels. I don't know if he has it on both sides. You can have it on one side or the other side. I happen to have it on both. So, like, right now, DJ LeMayhew would find it very tough to sprint 
There's no way he can jump, not that there's a lot of jumping in baseball. Right. And his lateral movement's going to be compromised. Do you think he's had this all year, and that's why he's had such a bad year? I think he's had it for some time, because right. Aaron Boone kind of hinted at... He's been banged He's up. been working through it. Yeah, yeah. So I try to do the same thing. Now, again, I'm by no means am I saying I'm a yo, DJ LeMayer or Prathet. I, I get that. But the injury is the same. Yeah. And there comes a point where, and I think this is where DJ's at, Either the hole gets bigger or it has more of an impact on your movement. Right. You can't play. Right. So, so he finally reached a point I where so. they said, look. And, and it's funny how it works. So he's out of the lineup. He's day-to-day. They didn't put him on the I.L. right away. He may be available today. We're not sure. And then finally ended up on the I.L. The 10-day. The 10-day. Voight went to the 60-day. Voight's done. Boone said this about DJ. And you'd know better because, again, you had it. He didn't rule him out for the ALCS if the Yankees went he ain't on playing, dude. He's not playing. So now we live in a world in which... That's not me. I'm not a doctor. I'm just saying if he's either... He's going to have surgery for yes, it. Yes, he has to have it no matter right. what. Right. And then they go through your belly button and they put a patch in and they patch up the hole. The recovery's not crazy bad. It's like you're out for six months right. or you can't walk. So there's no rush to have the surgery then. Well, they can put it off hoping he but feels he, well I, enough to play. I don't think he can play either way is what I'm saying. I wow. don't think he can play with it. They haven't ruled it out. And like, I know they're going to give him shots and stuff. You're talking about a hole. No, I get it. You're not it, talking about, it. oh, I bruised the muscle. Give me some Toradol or a shot or something. Right. And I'll play through it. Right. I don't think you see DJ again this year. Well, they ruled out Luke Voigt by going on 60-day. They haven't ruled out DJ LeMahieu. And now it leads to what I think is going to be a day-to-day question on how you fill that hole. You could go Odor at third base and keep Gio at short, or you can go Velasquez at short and put Gio back at third, or you can go Tyler Wade. I mean, those are Seems really like your Tyler options. Wade's going to stay on the bench and be a late inning. Yes, I think they pinch like... runner, or even your worst case, you take a bat. Well, in a lot of ways, he's more valuable that way because yeah. now you can use him in a big spot late down a run or a tie game as a pinch runner. So I agree with you. I think it's really Odor Velasquez, and they'll go day by day with it. Odor Velasquez, no Geo. No, no, no. Geo plays no matter what. Yeah, it's Odor right. or, or Velasquez to fill the DJ hole. I got if Velasquez it. Right. plays, he plays short. Geo's at third. If Odor plays, Odor's at third. Geo's at short. Simple as that. I mean, look, it's simple. Odor is more of an offensive threat. Velasquez certifies your defense. That's what it comes right. down to. You're going to see all of them. I mean, maybe not in this game. If they advance, you see all of them. Because you're going to have late inning defensive replacements. You're going to have late inning pinch runner. But you have all that stuff. You know, what's crazy is like Tyler Wade's a great weapon, Swiss Army knife in terms of defense and his speed. They don't have a big bat on their bench anymore. They used to have the Voigt bullet. Oh, you could lose use Luke Voigt whenever you want. They don't have that. Right. Like their bench is not threatening. Like so there aren't a lot of really great options. Now unless Gary Sanchez remembers how to hit. Well, but Gary right? isn't Gary. Because he's not starting a catcher. I agree with you, but Gary's like the weapon probably for Kiggy Ashioka more so than for anybody else. But you're right. He's not much of a weapon. Right. I wonder if Miguel Andujar is a factor at all because even though we haven't seen him, he's been playing at AAA and he's been hitting. So he's around. Now, it would be odd. Guy hasn't played in the major leagues in a million Can you imagine? years. Hey, Miguel, guess what? Come on, meet us in Fenway. Wouldn't you want him? Yeah, why I mean, wouldn't you? You want options off your bench. And again, just because we're not seeing him doesn't mean he hasn't been playing. He's been playing. He's been mostly playing the outfield, I think. But he's been playing down at AAA. That is interesting. Well, listen, if you get to that, uh, well, if you if you wind up getting to that, that means you didn't take a lead in the first six innings, right? What do you mean? Oh, like, you're using your bench? Like if you're worried uh. about who's coming off the bench late, that means you need him coming off the bench, no, meaning he, you don't have a lead. Sure. Look, I'm also thinking more down the road if they're in a best of five or a best of seven. Obviously, tomorrow is winner take all. It's you got to manage it like game seven because it is game seven. And by the way, here's what you should do. Got a fun exercise for you. Yeah, you're gonna make fun of me for saying this. Go on Baseball Reference. Eh, not happening. <laughs> you don't want to hear it. That's a non-star. Right, I'm, I'm not gonna finish it then. All right, thank you. I you're appreciate welcome. that. I may tweet it later. Here's a uh, big Don in Long Island on the fan. Donnie, what's going on? Hey, how you doing, guys? Great. I just wanted to say thanks for getting me home in the afternoon and to Lakata for the morning ride. There you go. Well, if you're sitting in traffic right now, give us a call, 877-337-6666. It's the greatest day of the year, and it ends at 7 o'clock tonight. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, (laughs) So all I wanted to say was, Evan, I just um, have a plan for Carton on – 
Sunday. What's I that? Kept watching the Jet game in the morning. Yes. He can he could do his thirty miles of bike ride before the Giants. That's a true story. You've got a good yeah, and I wanted, four hours to get it done. Right, and I wanted to bring that up so that it's Monday and we can work on this all week, Frank. Oh. <laughs> so watch the Jet game. It starts at nine thirty in the morning. Right, it's over by twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. I would miss the one o'clock game, yeah, but, but the there, Giants played four. Is there a one o'clock game that you're that excited about? Where you're like, I have like Patriots, mm. Texans. Titans, no, Jaguars. I think what Don's saying is, is is right. Yeah, take a little football break till the Giants start at four. Yeah, and then whatever the Yankees may be doing, of course. After I think that. the Yankees, if they are in the ALDS, and I, again, you're looking ahead. I keep trying, guys. I keep trying to tell them, stop looking ahead. Stop thinking at game times for the ALDS. They got to win the wild card game first. By but the way, I apologize. It would probably be at night, though. Hypothetically, there you go. You should have a bone to pick with the company, though. I just got a word. That the company that we work for, yeah. you guys bought two tickets upper deck behind the plate, right? I sure did. Yep. And the company has blessed you going to Boston tomorrow. I'll be here. Evan will be live from uh, from Boston. Yeah. The company has a luxury box on the third base line yeah, I'm aware. at Fenway. I'm aware. I passed. Why are we sitting there? I passed on it. You didn't pass on I that. I did. I told C-Mac the story. Not a fan. Not a fan. You were aware that there's a luxury box. In fact, I'll, I'll take it a step further. In 2018, game two of the ALDS, Yankees Red Sox. Yeah. I was at Fenway. I did my Saturday show there. I was in the luxury box. I spent five minutes there. Yeah. I did not feel comfortable. It's a suite? It's or a, it's... It's a beautiful suite. It is. Well, I, I spent five minutes there. Yeah. And I said, nope. Went on my phone. Went on StubHub. Bought a single ticket and went with the real fans downstairs and watched the game. I apologize, Big Mac. That was an executive decision. I have zero interest in hobnobbing during Yankees Red Sox at Fenway freaking Park yeah. with a bunch of people who I don't really know who are probably Red Sox fans who may judge the fact that C-Mac is head to toe in his Jeter outfit it's all right. and I've got my scorebook out. So... I apologize. It was my Wouldn't decision. Would you rather sat there Hard pass. eat and drink for free and be comfortable and have a bathroom than sit upper deck behind the plate? You can comment, see, He could have made that happen I, for I you. I know he could have. We talked about it. I told and you. And you guys both decided that you'd rather not do that. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 yes, did. I did. <laughs> because I don't know what kind of condition I'm going to be. Fenway Wild You're going to be game. sitting on your ass cheering for the Yankees, I'm standing not, up I, every time there's a big play. Correct. Okay, so what? But... I so you know. do it from the luxury. I want to make sure I'm comfortable. I can say whatever's on my mind. Exactly. Hold I on. can just. Why you know. wouldn't you be able to say what's on your mind? It's because the same company. This is the same. Guy. I scream "suck it" for no apparent <laughs> reason. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Who knows what I'll say? I'm, dude. He's so right. We are. I know this is tough for you to imagine. I, I might have gone are, had I known about that. <laughs> well, we are the opposite of you. We are the opposite of bougie. Like, the free food does sound good. And C-Mac and I freely admit Just that. having the bathroom to go to That's sounds fair. good. That's better than even the food. That's yeah, fair. I agree. I totally agree. Plus, l unlimited booze? All fair. On the company's dime? But the what do they pay you? Right. But the Enough where I should take every opportunity to drink their <laughs> well, free booze. I I'm agree. saying if the company's offering free whiskey, I agree. Mr. $12 right, shrimp, right. so you know what? <laughs> take it. Here's what we can do. We can get a couple of tickets... Right before the game, because we're going to be cutting it close, getting there, we can go grab some drinks and food, and then we get the hell out and go to where the real fans do we, sit. Do we have the in? I know they have the box, but can I'll, you walk in and just get in? No, I'll, I'll, I'll make they'd some have calls. To, they'd have to give you a pass to get to that level, because there's a different I'm yeah. sure, elevator or escalator Look, or something. I had one in 2018. Wow, and you Craig, really wasn't, Craig wasn't my partner, and I was doing middays. So I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get it no, this No, we don't time. even have to do that. Let's just get in our seats. I want to get in there our seats. There you go. Because God forbid the Yankees score a couple of runs, then I'm like, now we can't leave the suite. You know, that's the, you know, things like well, why that. Why would you want to leave the suite? It'd be even better to be there with the program that, well, director of WEEI. Yeah, we're good. A guy I used to work with in Denver, Colorado. Did you like him? I'll say hello. <laughs> Just say hello. There's, there's no response to that. I'm going to meet him tomorrow. What should I say? Are you going to meet him? Yeah. Oh, nice. Tell him I'm sure he's going to be at the station, so I'll meet him there. I'm yeah, tell him I said hey. You tell him congratulations. He just got the job. Anything else from him? He's a new program director. And do you like him? We haven't we haven't seen each other in a long time. Wait, he can't even answer a question of do you like him? Oh, I haven't seen him in a long time. That wasn't my he's question. He's probably a completely different person. Now. I always I don't got even... along with him. 
He has said some things about me, you know, oh, behind my back. He did? Uh, that got back to dude, me. Dude, you want me to call him out on it? No, I don't care. When I go up there and say, We're hey, good. listen, Craig's my boy. What are you doing? We're good. He I'll got. He just got the job. I, I'm happy he got the job. You want me and C-Mac to take care of him? Yeah, you, you, like, say, you two hey, are going to take care well, of somebody. We'll, we'll say, hey, what'd you say about my boy? What'd you say? It's all good. To, I'll, say, I'll say, say it to his face. Yeah, exactly. It it's all water under the bridge. Okay. We're all good. Then we're all good? We're all good. Yeah, no no thanks to the suite. Not interested. Sorry. You can keep your sweets. <laughs> you can keep your sweets. Look, I, I get Maybe it. Maybe I'll helicopter up there. I get it. Like the legend suites at Yankee Stadium. It's great. It's cool. It's awesome. I get why that's fun. I've done it. It ain't the same, man. You want to be with real diehard fans in the non-bougie seats. And this isn't just words, Craig. It's backed up by actions. Yeah. My ass went on StubHub yesterday. I know you did. And bought freaking tickets. I know. And you could sell them for a big profit and you're not going I'm to. I'm not going to, no. You didn't even ask anyone involved with the show if it'd be good for the show if you went. I mean, you were all in. Oh, it's good for the that's show. What, that's a real fan right that's there. That's right. And all in. It is good because there Yankee go. fans are going. You know how many Yankee fans are going to call up tomorrow I'm on my lot. way to Boston? Not a lot. How many do you think? You Now, remember... The crowd. I think there'll be uh, 500 Yankee fans there. Dude, the crowd two weekends yeah, ago. Yeah, but it's a playoff game. So you think it's going to be worse? No. Yeah, fewer Yankee fans. Because it's yeah. midweek or because it's the playoffs? Because it's a playoff game. Dude, if you want to go, you if can go. If you're a go. self-respecting Red Sox fan, you're not giving your ticket to a Yankee I, fan. How did I get tickets? I don't know where you bought them. I went on secondary market. I don't think it's going to be as much as that weekend, if that's your point, I would yeah. agree with you. But there are going to be a decent amount of Yankee fans in that building. I've already gotten a bunch of DMs saying, I'm there, I'm going, what are you drinking? So, yeah, yeah someone give Evan a drink while you're there. <laughs> that always works out well. Here's Mitchell and Morristown on the fan. Mitchell, good afternoon, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing good. great. Hey, Craig, Craig, Evan, listen... Let you know, first of all, I'm a huge Mets fan. Yeah. I've been a Mets fan my whole life. Life right. would have been a lot easier if I was a Yankee fan. But let me just clarify one thing. I've been a surgeon at Morristown Medical Center for over 37 years. Mm -hmm. What, what LeMayu Le has is called a sports hernia. Yeah. You had an inguinal hernia. There are two different types of hernias. An inguinal hernia is a hole in the inguinal canal. This is more of an inflammation at the pubic ramus. One of the ligaments there is inflamed. That's why they treated him initially with a cortisone shot, because that treats inflammation. You don't treat an inguinal hernia like oh. you had, Greg. And so hold on a sec, Doc. I take everything back that I said 20 minutes ago <laughs> about okay. DJ LeMayu. You didn't go to medical school, right, Craig? Uh, well, you know, there was that one semester. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so... Very often these can initially be treated with physical therapy, cortisone, anti-inflammatories, and he's not going to hurt himself. It's, it's, it's a matter of it's going to be uncomfortable. Well, let me ask you this. If, yes. Tell me if I'm right about this. When it comes to the sports hernia, isn't the motion of swinging a bat, that twisting of the trunk, isn't that a killer pain for someone? Yes, it's going to be very uncomfortable yeah. for him to play. Yes, without a doubt. And, um, you know, it is treated with surgery. It's questionable whether surgery is or is not beneficial. There are surgeons that do it. They're mostly orthopedic surgeons, not general surgeons who do inguinal hernias. But I think if he's too uncomfortable, he's probably not going to be able to play. They gave him the cortisone shot. I guess he didn't respond well. And to let it. me ask you this. A, yeah. In a sports hernia, is it typically one side versus the other or is it the whole area? No, it's usually one-sided. It's usually one side. It's not bilateral. Inguinal hernias, I was very impressed. You said can be both sides, which they can be. Yeah, that's right. But a sports, hernia, a sports hernia is usually either in the right or the left groin area. That's correct. They usually Got it. don't have to be bilateral. And does the sports hernia lead to the other type or no? No, no. They're two separate, different type of hernias. Got it's, it. Yeah, yeah. So in your, without obviously seeing any of his records, in yes. your opinion... Could he play at a major league level with a legit sports hernia? I think it would be difficult. I think it's going to be very uncomfortable playing. Um, and this is something that tends to get worse with time, with you know, doing more activities. So I think at this point, he's probably been playing for with this sports hernia for a while. Got and it. I think it's just got to a point where, you know, it's difficult for him to, you know, to feel the ball or to even to hit a base. Okay. So here's my next question, just to wrap yeah. up the the, uh, the thought. Yeah. 
does it fix itself or is surgery ultimately required? No, it usually doesn't. I mean, initially you could try physical therapy. In my experience, that usually doesn't work. And usually it does come to some surgery. And there are surgeons that do use a patch, which never made sense to me because it's not a hole. It's a tear in a rig of a ligament attached to the pubic ramus. So Got there's, it. A very, there's a very good specialist, and he's probably going to him in Philadelphia, who does this type of surgery. Not Most surgeons don't do it. Most general surgeons don't do this. If anything, it's usually done by an orthopedic surgeon. Huh. Wow. All right. Yeah. Well, listen, I appreciate the insight. I want to make sure we got that right. So thank you for calling in on that. Uh, you're very well. Listen, you guys are great. I love you. Evan, I bleed the Mets and the Jets. You know, I just I have to you. tell you that. So you had a great day yesterday. The Mets season ended and the Jets won. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's very true. Thanks a lot, All guys. Right, Mitch. Thanks for, thank thanks you. For All right, so there you go. We like to get that stuff accurate. So I was off on that. I I'm surprised that you just were like fascinated by all that. Well, you because it's DJ LeMay here. No, no, I'm just like I don't know. I I think I know you sometimes, yeah. and then I realize I don't. Well, I like to get things right. Oh, I like really? to be right. I always like to be right, Evan. <laughs> okay. And the hernia that I described right. is an inguinal hernia. I got gotcha. you. Yes, not a sports hernia. Which is a you know an invented phrase. It's Kinda invented, like, like walking pneumonia. <laughs> There's no such thing. There doesn't isn't? exist. I had walking pneumonia. No, you that's what a doctor told me. There's no such thing. My doctor told me that. There's no medical thing known as m- walking pneumonia. Then what the hell did I have? Yeah, pneumonia. Oh, you I had the legit pneumonia. You had pneumonia, or you didn't have pneumonia. So what was he we trying to say? Like it was a lighter case of pneumonia? Maybe? Like, uh, yeah, like you're soft is what he was saying. That's what he was saying. He was saying, he man, he wouldn't up. let me go on a road trip. Like yeah. uh, Joe and I were going to the Final Four. And he said, I'm not allowing it. Like, you have walking pneumonia, you got to stay home. There's no such thing. Well, that's what the doctor told me. What do I know? Look up any medical textbook. So you the think term my... walking pneumonia doesn't exist. So you think my doctor was a quack? Or, yeah, I guess. Okay. I mean, you said that I didn't. No, well, I'm asking you. Yeah, sorry. So based on all that, is DJ coming back at some point or no? Like, yeah. could he come back if the Yankees go on a run? I guess if his wife massages it long enough, <laughs> but then you have a boner, and it's hard to play baseball with a boner because those pants are so tight. <laughs> you ever try? Have I ever tried to do what? Yeah, you have to tuck play it under the waistband, while and that's was, not comfortable either. Play baseball while I was excited? No, because usually while I'm playing, I'm not getting you know, ex- Wow. You may see a guy hit a ball in the gap and get all turned on by it. I mean, that's happened once or twice. I'm sure that it has. Yeah, but then you just do the tuck. Rule. Usually, it's not a it's not a double up the aisle. It's a sweet swing, like a sweet left hand. Ooh, look swing. at Will Clark! I'm so turned on. Yeah, now. that's a great example, right? Yeah. That's a good. Will Clark had a sexy swing. Yeah, Will Clark roping a double in the gap. Evans like, ugh. I mean, the obvious one is Griffey. Dude, Griffey oh. was just, ugh. yeah, waistband tuck. Oh yeah, that was your nickname in high school. <laughs> hey, waistband tuck, what's up? <laughs> There's a lot of streaming services out there, each filled with reality TV, comedy, drama, and of course, superheroes. But there's one dedicated entirely to nonfiction TV and documentary films, and that's Curiosity Stream. History, science, nature, we've got it. Space, dinosaurs, big cats, we've got that too. And pretty much anything else you want to explore. Go ahead, add some smart TV to your smart TV with Curiosity Stream. Go to curiositystream.com to sign up and start streaming today. To celebrate State Farm's surprisingly great rates, we gave this song surprisingly great lyrics. Hey neighbors, when your claims get hard to file, State Farm's got the switch it up style. Great rates save you cash, so if you come join us, you'll get your coins up. Oh, now you know you can say that dough. And you're covered on your ride and your home. For great service on the low, then call up State Farm, it's time to switch it up. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. The climate crisis is here. Time slipping away to stop the worst effects of global warming, and we need solutions. Hosted by me, Molly Wood, How We Survive dives deep into the economics, the tech, and the human stories behind those solutions. From billionaires trying to monopolize lithium mines to business rivalries so fierce that one CEO was dragged off a plane by federal authorities. How We Survive, following the money to the end of the world because our survival might depend on it. 
Listen on Odyssey and everywhere you get your podcasts. It's Carton and Roberts on the fan. WFAN, WFAN FM, and WFAN.com. You happen to see the commercial with uh, Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre? I did. No Eminem really in it. No yeah. Mary J. They showed him at the end, but they weren't in the He's actual commercial. He's too good to do commercials, Eminem? No, I'm sure they have ones working with them, too. Maybe he wasn't available the day they did that. That's you. Mm. And it was just me... Or did you happen to see the Tiffany uh, company commercial with Jay Z and Beyonce throughout uh, the football weekend? Did you happen? To, did one of you guys see that? No, because I got the game mix. I'm not seeing all the local. It commercials. is. I mean, it's basically look how rich we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, you'll see it at some point tonight for sure. Because it airs like every break now. Right. And it's a long commercial of her singing a song like serenading him. Showing off, like, their house, their pool, their cars, their mansions, private jets. Like, we get it. You're rich. <laughs> yes. Like, I now know I can't go to Tiffany's and shop. <laughs> Not that I ever could, but you right, get the point. Right. Yeah, I get it's that. so obnoxious. It's, like, totally out of touch with, like, the world. Anyway, that's just my Full minute there. spot? Oh, yeah. It feels like two minutes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You'll see it. You'll come in tomorrow. Well, you won't. Um, but <laughs> Friday you'll come in. Or Wednesday you're doing a show. Wednesday night. I'm under the impression, yeah? Yeah. You're doing a show. He's doing like a long show. 7.30 yeah. to 11 on Wednesday night. All by so. yourself, right? All by my lonesome. Why I think take, it'd be great. Why did it take you so long to do a solo show? Uh, You've been here for a million well, years. Because Chernoff hated him. Is that what it was? I, In fairness, I never asked. Oh. So. Did that you ever want to do a show? Um, yes yeah. and no. I'm excited about wow. Wednesday night. That I think you're right. Right. Especially since you're a baseball fan. Right. It's the perfect spot. You yeah. know, it's not an overnight show. No offense to the overnight. But I honestly, I don't know how I would do four or five hours with very few calls. But I feel like tomorrow night off of the Yankee game <laughs> will be great. No offense. Uh, yeah, no offense <laughs> to the overnights, right? No, we all start at 730 on uh, following that Yankee playoff games. Yeah, Wait a no. second. Wait a second. No, that was my point. I'm giving cr- I'm giving props to the to those of you that right. do those Come hours. Yeah, I just said I don't well, know if I can like, handle that from two yeah, to no, six. No, no, it's not like yeah. I would say yes to an overnight or anything, but they give it to me at seven thirty. <laughs> sure, why of not? Of course, I would say it. I'm saying I'd have more. I would say yes, I'd have I more reservations. The, I the same way, Big Mac. <laughs> All right, fine. I'm, I'm with trying C-Lo. to pay the guy. Let's not pick trying to pay C-Lo, the guy a compliment. But, CeeLo yeah. is here and he's got an update <laughs> for yeah. you. All right. There'll be no one here to play Garrett Cole sound for you guys tomorrow. All right, powered by Superbook. <laughs> by the way, with Garrett better Cole, odds. it's always kooky. Well, that's the point, and favorable prices. All right, we have start times for the first three games of the division series, and I bring this up for a reason. Should the should the Yankees win tomorrow night in advance? Start well, times. We know you do. I mean, that goes without saying. Do you sense. love start times, Craig? No. I'd like to let him finish the sentence right. before we well, get all <laughs> I would like that, too. <laughs> but I understand if I say start times, he may check out and go look at whatever it is he's going to look at. Okay, so should the Yankees beat the Red Sox tomorrow night and get into the division series against the Rays? Thursday, Friday night, really no issue. You got 8 o'clock and 7 o'clock for games 1 and 2. Fine, right? No big deal. Yeah, sure. Really no issue. In now, Tampa, back to In back. Tampa. Okay. So now Sunday... Yanks would come home for game three. Right. That's the day where the Jets play at 9.30 and the Giants play at 4. Jets are in London against the Falcons, 9.30, and the Giants and the Cowboys, I believe, 4.25. So the, the best start yeah. times for us would either be 1 or 8. That's that's our sweet spot. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Okay. So it's not going to be either one of them, I guess. So Major League Baseball no, has no. released the no, schedule. don't say that. The Yankees, well, excuse me, should it be the Yankees and the Rays, game three Sunday, Four o'clock Are you start. freaking kidding me? I am not well, freaking kidding you. No, no, no. Hold on a second. The Giants and the Cowboys are on what network? Fox. Fox. Okay. Yes. Do you know what channel the Yankees and the Rays divisional FS1? series will be on? Turner. F- TBS. S- one. Actually, on Sunday, I see MLB Network listed. Oh, is that true? Yes, yes. on right, Sunday, MLB Network. Astros, White Sox, FS1 right. night game on I Sunday. Not, why does the network matter? Why it mattered was, how. why would Fox put... Oh, yeah, the yeah, two yeah. New York teams against, against each, each other. other. Right. Like, so, that'd be the stupidest well, thing so ever. Well, so Fox just said MLB Network, Abuzaso. That's what they did. <laughs> that sucks, That's man. what they did. I, Fox I know. just told Major League Baseball, Abuzaso. <laughs> yeah. Shove it, suck it, whatever. <laughs> well, that's your line. That's suck what they did. Yeah. They said, okay, so we don't have that game. So let's put a primetime major market game Cowboys on. Cowboys against Yankees Rays when yeah. you could... That dude, that sucks. Yep. There's yeah. no other way to look at it. It sucks for Big Mac. It sucks for me. It sucks yeah. for all of us as New Yorkers that like sports. It just sucks. Well, I mean, having the Jets and Giants play at the same time sucks. I they agree. do that. I completely agree. And it sucked yesterday. Yeah. Ideally, they wouldn't be on at the same time. But the Yankees and the Giants at the so same time. So, why don't the Giants and Cowboys go to the NFL and request to have their game played at eight o'clock at night? 
There's a radiator. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shnikes. Shocker. Why, why are you happy about I'm, this? Why am I happy? I'm not happy. You should be pissed. Here's I'm a better pissed. question. Why did you single out you and Big Mac for the right. ones that are, like, you know, hurt yeah. by all of this? Because he said so it sucks for guys like me and Big Mac well, and mean? other New Yorkers. What about and all New Yorkers? Fans. Okay, yeah. what about the yeah, other guys exactly. sitting in the studio here? Craig's well, I, a big Yankee fan. I'm right. a Yankee fan. Yeah, what about I think else? I'll just let Big Mac finish what he was saying since he was spot on. Go ahead. Oh, it's the real fans. Yeah. You know, uh, like that care. Suddenly, CeeLo's not a real yeah, fan. I mean, well, I mean so if the Rangers are playing, I feel bad for him. <laughs> wow. I love C-Mac. You know what? He is my guy. I don't, fe- I don't feel bad now about, about my, com- my overnight comment. I don't feel bad about it now. <laughs> I knew Evan might like that. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so here's the deal. If the Yankees do make it, game four on Sunday. Three. Excuse me, game three on yeah. Sunday goes head-to-head with Giants-Cowboys. That's terrible. Yeah. That's, that's a slap terrible. in the face. And, like, so about. who ultimately makes this call? Was it the network who does it or I, Major League Baseball as a whole? That I couldn't tell you. Because even if you're MLB Network, you're I, going I could, to I could get, call Manfred up and ask him. Call him up and ask him. You're going to get destroyed. <laughs> like, we get the Yankees are popular, but the Giants and the Cowboys on Fox versus a Yankee playoff game on MLB Network? Dude. Not ideal. What do you hate your own sport? Ask Rob Manfred. Do you hate baseball? Yeah, he hates baseball. Because I'm going to ask him that. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm going to ask him. Decision, hey, Rob, do you hate baseball? Uh, you know what I mean? Knucklehead. A decision, I'm not a knucklehead. Baseball is. A decision like this reeks of, we just hate our sport. Yeah, because, you know, you say, well, why not one? Well, football at one. But it's not like, because of the Yankee-Giant connection, and it's not like who the Yankees would be playing is going to be drawing a ton of viewers. Right. They don't give a crap much down there in Tampa. Right. So why wouldn't you play it at 1 o'clock? you got to pick any other time. Like, you have to understand, you want people to watch your sport. I, I think baseball is the greatest sport ever and you're created. you're saying game three is at 4 o'clock? Yeah. Sunday. Uh, so I'll make sure a, I know it's a text. I'm no, texting. I get it. Baseball is the greatest sport ever. And sometimes the guys and gals that run it make decisions that you say, why do you hate your own sport? And I don't mean literally, Craig. Obviously, I don't think Rob Manfred hates baseball. But <laughs> sometimes decisions are made that make you say, do they? Does that make sense? Am I explaining it better to you? He's not what, listening. Uh, what right. else you got? Yeah. And it's not, by the way, it's unique this Sunday because what? the Jets are playing in the morning. Here's you the have deal. that gap in there between whatever the Jet game yeah. ends at 1230 and the Giant kickoff at 425. Here's the deal. This is not an issue yet. You're way ahead of yourselves. Yes. The Yankees have to beat the Red Sox. Of right. course. If they beat the Red Sox, I promise you, on Friday afternoon, we will spend a good hour <laughs> yelling and screaming so we're getting, about the schedule. So we're getting ahead of the curve here. Yes. It may be irrelevant, <laughs> but you know that this is a major issue that could have been avoided. I just sent the appropriate people a text. Oh, they're calling me now, so I can't. They? I can't take the call. No, they? take the call. I can't take the me call. Me and CeeLo right, are going right. to break down what do you Rangers. Mean they? they are our right. center Craig's fielder. taking the phone call right now. So, CeeLo, what do you think of the Rangers' depth? No, I'm just kidding. Come on. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Dude, I, I really mean this. And I, and I say it jokingly about it. Hey, do, do you hate your own sport? You really sport? mean it, but you say it jokingly? Well, the idea of hating your own sport, but decisions <laughs> like this make you just wonder. Scratch your head. Yeah. It makes you say, like, yeah. why don't you want to promote your game? Baseball is a great sport, and now you're telling the audience of the biggest media market in the country, we're begging you not to watch us. We're begging you. Most people don't watch MLB Network. They don't. Got the answer. Oh, we got an answer? Good. Here we go. All right. This it's is very exciting. Something obvious we should I have known? The no. All we right. would never think about it. All right, cool. So th- this Sunday coming up is the Chicago Marathon. Ah. The streets are closed. You cannot get to the stadium in Chicago. So there was no way to schedule the whomever plays the Rays on Sunday at any time other than then because the the Chicago Marathon. Wait a second. If the Chicago Marathon wasn't taking place, then, of course, the whomever versus Tampa right. would not be at 4 o'clock on Sunday. Because he's saying the White Sox have yeah. to play at no, night because no, no, it's a home game. Oh, that's okay. the answer. All right. Well, they still can that's play the at yeah, 1. Yeah, one o'clock. One. You, didn't, you didn't ask the follow-up that's question. That's the answer. Why can't they play at 1? Question. Why can't they play at 1? I'm not calling them back. <sighs> no, no, but I gave a text. I got an immediate answer. No, and yes. I understand no that. No one else has that that's information. That's great information. <laughs> but unless, here's what they're saying. And tell me, you know TV better than I do. Maybe they're saying we four o'clock is so much better a time slot than yeah. one o'clock. Well, it that is. even though the Giants are playing at four, we still feel we'll get a bigger audience Has at four be. than one, despite That's, the competition. Right. Yes. They're not playing games at one o'clock. The earliest we're playing games is four o'clock. Right. And I just talked to the person who does the schedule. 
All right, that's why that game, they don't know it's going to be the Yankees. It may not be. True. Right. The Tampa Bay Rays ALDS game three is only at that time because of the Chicago Marathon. Uh, it's a, I mean, look, it's an answer. At least you have an answer. No, no, it's an answer. Yes. And I agree you're not going to put it head-to-head, obviously. That defeats the whole purpose. You want to have right. games split right. apart. It just stinks. That's all. Yep. Perhaps. But again, no one knows if the Yankees are playing in that game. Maybe they're tipping their hand. MLB thinks the Red Sox are going to win. Thoughts? Not sure why that means that, but okay. Because I they, uh, if I'm not mistaken, let me double check. I give here. MLB credit though that they got you back to you so quickly and actually gave a good answer. I mean, it's an answer. I mean, it still stinks, but it's, it's an a good answer, answer none of us ever could have contemplated. Yeah. Well, I would have never right. thought. So that. I respect that and I thank them. Yeah, good job, Adam. Here and we'll be good done job with out of this. Me, really. I'll say this, and then we'll move on. Good job, the reason I you. bring up the Red Sox angle, and maybe they're thinking Boston wins, Pats play a 1 o'clock game Sunday. That's all I'm saying. No, I think it's more what I said, that okay. they just don't like 1 o'clock time slots. Fair enough. Because you are right. If you look at Saturday's schedule, the two National League games are 5 and 9. They do, they don't want a game at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. They will not play a game at 1 o'clock. On yeah. the weekend. They're not going to no. do it. they got That's a 2 a, o'clock game on Friday. That has just been uh, confirmed. Yeah, well. Friday they have two four games. Yeah. Right, there's four games, so they try to spread it out. So they got two, four thirty, seven 7 o'clock, and 9. How about this? Let's hope we have that problem. Yeah, that's right. right? I mean, the New York Yankees haven't gotten there yet anyway. Yeah. So at 4 o'clock, we'll go buy another TV. What are you going to do, Big Mac? I have NFL Game Pass now. <laughs> I'll, watch, I'll watch the Giant ah, game after. Yes. Uh... You're so, welcome, no, I, might, yeah, I would watch the Yankee game. Yeah. So what I would do is, since I have one TV... Well, that's so tough. It's a playoff game. To but be it's, fair, but the, it's Cowboys Giants. We just did this yesterday. There were three games to watch. Oh, it's pretty hard. much at the same time. Do you time. want me to invite you over? I don't want to go to your house. Why? Why are you still against that? It was a nice I, time on Saturday. Because I want. I'm, uh, you went. You had a nice time. Yeah, we had a sure great time. So I wish I could have spent more time there. Jeez. You know, I didn't one even day, invite you, and now you. I don't want to go to your house. Well, because well, wow. you told me if I come over, I have to mow the lawn. I was doing you a favor. <laughs> you said you wanted to mow the lawn. Yeah, I you said, wanted to get that video game where you mow lawns. Yeah, yeah. I did want to get that yeah, video game. Yeah, you did. Of course, you didn't. But. Mowing the lawn seems so cool on a video game. <laughs> Yeah, in real life, it's cool like the first time you do it. No. Then it's not so cool. Dude, I've been doing it for five years. It never yeah. gets old. I love it. Anyway, so listen, let's hope that we have a problem on Sunday. We don't know what we're going to watch. Because that would mean that the Yankees made it to the ALDS. Yeah. And I'll give baseball credit. A, they got right back to me. Yeah, they did. And B, it's actually an understandable th- well, deal. Yeah, the, the situation stinks that, yeah. that's, the, that that's what Why happened. Why do they have but... to run in Chicago? Yeah, why? Why well, do you need to run? <laughs> why do they have to run here or in Boston yeah, or I anywhere think the else? Marathon's the they dumbest thing ever invented. Uh, By the way, speaking of the marathon, if the Red Sox put those jerseys on, if which? they put those stupid I, marathon jerseys on, the yellow ones? Yeah, the yellow ones. I why love would those, they now? I love those hats. They're going to lose. I love the 100%. hats. 100%. I got the hat right here. Yeah. This hat's fire, by the way. Yeah. It's a UCLA hat, let's be honest. No, no. Yuck. This is the Boston... Uh, I, I, I know, I know what it is, but it's it's yeah. a UCLA hat. Do not put that... On. Yeah! <laughs> you put it on! You put a red side hat on. on! You do I not st- put that on your head. Oh! oh. <laughs> C-Mac, uh, <laughs> blame pole. Next oh time, Craig's God, going right on there. That, that hat should be on. right on the top of the... You All should put right. the hat on the... The eagle's head on the blame pole. I'll do that tomorrow for you guys. I'll put... No... If I put the Red Sox hat up there, that means they beat the Yankees. Oh, we you'd blame be blaming them, right? them. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. We're putting you up there for putting the hat on your head. I got my hat. Yeah. And I got information that you can't get anywhere else. <laughs> and you can't even argue it. Like, if you want to yell and scream at MLB, feel free. On this one, no, the only, they get a pass because it's legit. The only argument you can make is the 1 o'clock thing, but I, I think they from don't a TV. They want to play 1 o'clock because there's no audience. Yeah, that, no, and I get That's what that, my reaction yeah. was. Selfishly in New York, we would love that. But by the way, if they did play at 1 o'clock, the game would be four and a half hours anyway. Well, it would bleed into the Giant game. I'll do you one better. Yeah. Imagine the 46,000 people that are going to go to Yankee Stadium Sunday at 4 o'clock and not watch Giants-Cowboys. No football for them. How about that? Jets in the morning. But. Well, that's why they made smart well, but But think about this. Right? Tomorrow night, in all seriousness, there's a preseason game at Madison Square Garden. There's going to be 10,000 people there? Uh, maybe. I don't know. There are 10,000 people that are choosing not to watch the Yankees-Red Sox one-game playoff, but to watch Knicks preseason. Like, it happens all the time. Yeah, I guess. If I were the Yankees, though, well, 4 o'clock, nah, you can't even do that. Because it's 425, really. For the Gi- Giants-Cowboys. Ba- yeah, 425. The yeah, baseball's say, probably going to be, close, what, 410, 450 yeah, by the time they play. Yeah, I you can't even put, like, the Giant-Cowboy game up on the big screen, the Jumbotron, while people are waiting, because it starts... Earlier, 
Yeah. The Cowboy Giant game will start at 10 after. Correct. Uh, 25. Pardon me. The Yankee game would start at 410. Yes. First pitch, 407, whatever it is. Right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Listen, it'd be a great problem to have on our hands. We had Jets Giants yesterday. We figured out a way to get through it, right? Overtime for both, plus the Yankee game. I think we'll and make... somehow, some way, we were able to but you, but, survive. But there's a big difference. The Jet Giant thing bothers diehard football fans, but the diehard Giant fans watching the Di- Giants, the diehard Jet fans watching the Jets. You said, I think it was you, CeeLo, said it when we were talking about the ratings. Yankee fans and Giant fans are usually one and the same. Yeah. yeah. These are their two teams playing at the exact same time. And by the way, both games are monumental. If the Yankees are playing a game three of the ALDS, that's monumental. And the Giants are trying to build off the momentum of last week against the Cowboys, and that's monumental. You think the Yankees would put the Giant Cowboys score up on the board? No. At some point, I think they would. After or like uh, uh, every don't, score don't, or something like that? Yeah, every quarter, something yeah. like that. I don't know. It might even be on the out of town scoreboard out there. No, not a lot of other games to put up there right yeah. now during the playoffs. Right. Well, there'd be no other game opposed right. to it. The other the game, game is at night. Is the White Sox yeah, game. you're right. You're right. Crazy. Yeah. I can't wait for next weekend. <laughs> you're in such a place now, Woo! and I give you credit, where you get excited about things that suck. Like, you're not just excited about good stuff. That doesn't suck. Yes, it does. That's awesomeness. <laughs> How is that awesome? Because it means the Yankees are still playing. Yes. Oh, fair enough. Keeping up with the flood of news every single day can be quite stressful. There is climate change happening. There's the pandemic, labor movements, Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend. Hi, I am Gideon Resnick, host of Crooked Media's What A Day. Each week, Travel Anderson, Priyanka Arabindi, Josie Duffy, Rice, and I are going to break down the biggest news stories of the day in a way that hopefully doesn't always make you want to cry. New episodes of What A Day drop every weekday at 5 a.m. Eastern. Listen on Odyssey, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. There's a lot of streaming services out there, each filled with reality TV, comedy, drama, and of course, superheroes. But there's one dedicated entirely to nonfiction TV and documentary films, and that's Curiosity Stream. History, science, nature, we've got it. Space, dinosaurs, big cats, we've got that too. And pretty much anything else you want to explore. Go ahead, add some smart TV to your smart TV with Curiosity Stream. Go to curiositystream.com to sign up and start streaming today. Billy and Lauren here with the Diamond Air in St. Charles. Making one-of-a-kind engagement rings. So, Billy, what have we learned this past year? (sighs) Well, Lauren, I think what we've learned is what really matters in this life. I just hope that we can capture a small glimpse of it here at the Diamond Air. Billy, so now the guy who says size does matter needs the world's tiniest violin? Maybe. Come on. The Diamond Air is where people come to have a drink and look at colorless diamonds. Where's your enthusiasm? Well, you know, Lauren, they say having kids lowers testosterone. Uh, That's okay. Athletes everywhere are using enhancements, right? Yeah. Hey, I know. Why don't we come up with an inspiring ring enhancement for all those loose diamonds? Yeah, I suppose making the perfect engagement ring would make the world a better place to relish those most tender of moments. Billy, trade in that violin. Okay, how's this? With the Diamond Air, you will get a larger, better quality diamond for less. Because remember, gentlemen, size does matter.